type of product it is and the power of the product in terms of the relationship that it has with people and, it, and the resonation that it has with people. And Tom has certainly found gold here. I mean, it is, it is maybe gold is not the right word, diamonds. I don't know if it's diamonds. Maybe it's something more expensive. But the fact is, you know, he always talks about the elusive fountain of youth, and he's been watching this product for the last number of years. And I made the comment uh, the other day on, on the doctor's call that I, I've watched Tom over eight and a half years. I've watched him closely. And I've watched his demeanor when it comes to a product, when it comes to something special that he's identified as something valuable for each one of you and, and of course, myself as well and, and those people that you're working with and introducing to different products, thoughts, ideas, et cetera. But I've watched him get excited. I've watched him get, uh, you know, uh, interested in the, in the science, the research, the technology. But this thing is stacking up on his desk all of the research, all of the information, all of the things that these, these ingredients will do for the human body. And what it is amazing is watching the people that are now getting on Facebook and Twitter and, and Instagram and Snapchat, social media just abounding and people talking about, I've been on it for a week and I'm already noticing a difference in my energy levels. I've been on it a week and my skin feels fantastic. I've been on it for two weeks now and I feel like I – I'm able to jump out of bed in the morning, and that's what Tom's talked about. He's talked about what this product does and how it helps you in so many different ways from the stem cell itself, and that really is where the energy is created for the body, and Tom can get into it tonight, but we're going to have a, just a power pack call because Tom's going to jump on and, and really go through very quickly the power of this product and what it can do for, for you, each one of you, and those people that you're working with. But he'll also get into some explanation because, again, I've watched him now for studying this, this, ingre this, this ingredient base, if you will, now for probably a year and a half or two years. But it's something that he identified back in 1988, and I'll let him tell the story. But it's mesmerizing. I was talking about it with, uh, with Tom. I called him up one day. And I sent him an article that I had been, or I think somebody had forwarded it to me. And I got this article, and it talked about a man, the oldest living man documented that they know of, uh, is a Chinese man living in a small village in China. And they celebrated his 150th birthday back in the 1800s. And then he lived to, to be 256 years old and lived to, uh, in great health, uh, was, was absolutely loved by everyone, very kind, very considerate, but he had been uh, taught about herbs and, and about extracts of plants uh, and vegetation and different things that he could use that were all natural-based that he could uh, bring to the public and help all of the people that he could possibly help. And so I asked Tom, I said, hey, have you seen this article? This is actually a really great article uh, that we might want to share when we talk about, um, you know, the genome mapping on the body and how it, it actually talks that, that uh, we have the ability to live to be 150 years old and that we're not dying of old age by any means. We're dying of something that happened during uh, decay and degeneration and at middle age for the most part. Most of our our family members and friends, are, are uh, as they start aging, people start looking at the 70s and 80s and 90s as the time where they're just expecting at any, at any moment. That could be the time where a mother goes or a grandmother or uh, even yourself if you're, if you're nearing those ages. But here's the interesting thing. So I, I said to Tom, have you seen this article? Tom looks at the, at the headline, and then he tells me this really long story. And sure enough, uh, it's the same story, but it, it, he takes it back the Ming Dynasty and the Yellow Emperor, and he talks about all of these amazing things that he learned and studied back in 1988, one of the first uh, Westerners to go into China, um, and especially into some of the remote villages that he went to, but he was learning as much as he could back then about uh, Chinese medicine and about Eastern philosophy, and I'm listening to him tell me this whole story, and he said, and guess what? That's exactly what started my, my feet down the path of learning about the age field and understanding uh, glycation and lipofusum and all of the other things that go along with it. That's what started this whole path that exists today based on the age pill. And so I'm listening to Tom talk about this, and I'm, I'm number one, I'm listening intently. I'm enamored. But he talked for 42 minutes straight, and by the time he was done, uh, he said, so uh, you can see that this is what started me down this path originally. You can see that I obviously know it. And I said, did you open the article? And he said, no, I haven't opened it yet. Is that what it said? And I said, Tom, it's like verbatim. So anyways, folks, I don't want it to take away, but I just wanted to give you some 
some validation for what you're feeling right now, for what, what you're excited about. You know, we've sent this product all around uh, to all of our markets other than, as I mentioned, Japan. Uh, people are screaming for it. I was getting blown up last week by the Australians because it wasn't turned on the catalog yet. They just couldn't understand why, and we were working on pricing and had the Japanese coming in and all that kind of stuff. So it's happening. It just landed and, and uh, went on sale over the weekend in Europe. Uh, we sent over, again, thousands of bottles, uh, and literally we're watching this thing just go off the shelf. And so with uh, with that, I want to bring on our our chief formulation officer, our, our chief scientist, our president, our co-founder of Sizzle International, the man that makes all of these products happen, along with his son, Tom Auer Jr., and it, it, together as a team, they are unstoppable, and all of us together as a team are absolutely, unbelievably unstoppable. And so, Tom Mauer Sr., I want to welcome you to the call. We're excited. We want to hear more about this incredible product. We can't wait to get uh, more knowledge in our brains so that we can go out and talk intelligently about this incredibly fantastic product. Tom Maurer Sr., welcome to the call. Uh, thanks, uh, Aaron, and it's nice to be able to be talking to all of you. I just barely arrived home. I heard here fast so I could get here and be in time to get on this call tonight. Uh, what I want you to put in your mind for a second, and I'm going to not take so long. I've taken sometimes an hour on explaining this, and there's so much that could be said, but essentially it's this. If you could be what you wanted to be, what would you be uh, in, in your lifetime? Would you want to continue on and live the uh, golden years, as they call them, the way that they are, and live uh, like 95% of the people retire at or below the poverty level, and your health degenerates at a rate of 8 to 10% about every 10 years? So when you get down to you're getting close to 70, you've lost 40% or so of the body mass that you had when you're 25. You see people with skin on bones, hair thin, eyesight's bad, uh, hearing's uh, gone or going or poor with all that kind of thing. Fingernails aren't growing. Uh, they don't, the muscles have shrunk and deteriorated. The brain size has uh, shrunk with it and certainly not functioning with memory or cognizance or ability or any of those kinds of things. In fact, is there's nothing on you that's working the way it was uh, or once did. So what would you want to be? Would you like to be a new you? Would you like to return to those days of yesteryear, as they used to talk about in the Lone Ranger TV show, uh, returning to the days of yesteryear? Well, we can't go back in time, but one thing uh, we can do is our body can grow younger now because of the amazing discoveries that have been made. No longer is, uh, is it the, uh, uh, the only option, or no option, and that you're going to live longer and grow older. Now you can live longer and grow healthier and younger, uh, and this is a theory, and I say theory because we haven't tested on humans, but uh, these ingredients are enormously powerful, well-tested clinical studies, and they go back a long, long time. And some of those uh, go back even as early as the Yellow Emperor's book, which was published in China about 5,000 years ago. Now, uh, the, the gentleman that Tay uh, was talking about uh, he is really quite a famous person, uh, at least in China. And there was a documentary. How his article came was there was a documentary on him, and, uh, and it's Lai Ching... Luan is his name, and he was uh, an emperor's physician. So he didn't. He just wasn't a, a um, person that was a herbalist. In a, he lived in in the in the emperor's uh, the forbidden city, the Ming Dynasty emperors, uh, for a long time. In the last years, of course, he was out living in a small village. But he lived 256 years. His predecessor, who taught him all of this, was called. Um, Ming Chen Zhu, and, and excuse me, that was the emperor, was Ming Chen Zhu. Uh, that was the second emperor of the Ming dynasty, and during that, and these names, are, you, they won't mean anything to you, but Lai Shai Zan was the original one that came up with the same formulation that he and uh, Lai Chen developed together, and uh, he lived 239 years, and uh, of course, uh, Lai Ching, he lived um, 256 years. Now, uh, Lai Shazen was born probably 50, 75 years, can't remember the exact date for him. So 
So there's very two long lifespans linked together. I found out about it in 1988 uh, when uh, somebody came from China, had been there, a Korean, and they were excavating Ming Cheng Zhu, the second emperor of China's uh, tomb, and in his sarcophagus was the formulation. He was what they called a Taoist. Taoists are a, as a group of people in China who believe it's possible to have longevity and live virtually forever. Uh, now that we're more scientific in this world, we've lost a lot of that fundamental knowledge, but uh, the basic things are still true. And now the old, uh, the old knowledge is now becoming the new science, and this is what the age bill is all about. So they developed some formulations on concentrating some extracts, which went back uh, probably three or 4,000 years, a, a history of some of these, uh, of evolutionary history and the development of natural medicines. And this is the philosophy the Chinese had, and they still have it today, uh, other than if you, well, even their regular medicine uh, has this, to, uh, because they're very uh, adept and adroit when it comes to understanding that pharmaceutical drugs, yes, they have, and modern medicine has a purpose, but in nature there's much more, and the body is much more compatible with what's in nature. Well, we're not talking about just compatibility. What we're talking about is what the ancient Chinese said, and they said, a person has, a human being, has the ability to live uh, very healthy for a great length of time if they remove the toxins and the waste and they provide the right types of nutrients, and we're talking about super nutrients, colossally powerful, effective natural medicines extracted from nature. So let's go back and say that again. They said you can live a long, I'll say it shortly, or shorter, you can live for a long length of time in great health if you remove the toxins and the waste, where's that from? The body. And you provide the nutrients so the biological functions can operate at their most efficient way. And that's where we are right now with this. I went to China. I found out about 88, went there in 89, uh, was able to negotiate with the Chinese government, uh, get the product produced for me. They wouldn't give me the formula. But they gave me the product was produced. And, uh, and I bottled it and capped it for my previous company. Very effective for him, but it wasn't the only one they were using. There was one that was uh, uh, above all others, and they called that uh, Chin Chin Bao. Bao means treasure. But there were some other ones that were with it. But the Chinese government was keeping a lot of that pretty secret, but they needed the trade in 1988. So I cut a deal with them, and they sent that formula. And I noticed within weeks uh, I was sleeping less. I had a lot less fatigue. and and, uh, and stamina was greatly increased, and it was self-evident to me. And I'm not one that uh, believes in stuff but, uh, that doesn't work, and because I want it to work, I, I am, am subject to the placebo effect. I'm not that. I, I have to see evidence. So I did saw that that worked, and so I, I worked and developed that, and then I brought a, another one to it called the Emperor's Formula that I called, and it's from a previous company. And I tried to hit as close to that as I could, and I think I was, doing fairly well, and but then, of course, the old company started to uh, sizzle here uh, a number of years ago, and I've been, uh, of course, it's always been there with them, and Eternity was one of the ingredients, uh, or in the ingredient, in Eternity was one of those in that ancient formulation, so as Harvard Medical School made it famous, uh, I already knew about it and had been using it in my previous company, so I just took the science they had and made Eternity. It was a little more technical because science is, is more intricately involved in the, even at the molecular level and the cellular level that the Chinese never could be. So we brought out Eternity, started working with that. And then there was a couple of other things that were involved with it. And uh, one of those uh, is uh, TSX and uh, the ingredients from astragalus root extract, which is cyclostragal and astragoside 4. You don't need to know those things, but you can look them up if you want some extra taste. But, but uh, they would re rebuild the telomeres and, uh, or support the rebuilding of the telomeres is the way we have to say it. And the telomeres are is really your biological time clock. You have a DNA that can run for about 150 years if you have enough telomeres uh, to keep duplicating cells. That's part of it. But if you have a lot of decay, a lot of damage, and not the nutrients that's necessary, uh, to run it, then it's, you're going to live longer, but your, your health is going to decline more.
But now what we can do is uh, we found, uh, and actually Harvard Medical School back on it again, and MIT and a couple of others have been looking at some compounds that were extraordinary. And uh, w but these compounds I knew about. In fact, the first time I was really onto a specific isolate of uh, one of these natural ingredients uh, was about 12 years ago. And I started, but nothing available, couldn't buy it, couldn't do it. But I saw what they were doing in animal studies, and they were so impressive. And now it's come in, into bloom. It's not into full bloom. It's expensive to make. But the biological potential of it is enormous. And we produce it all in our bodies. We produce lots of it when we're younger. And as we get older, it goes with less and less and less. And all that has to do with the degradation that occurs once we're grown. At conception, we're one cell. When we're born as a baby, we're 10 trillion cells. When we're about 25, we're 100 trillion cells. And so that tremendous duplication rate is regeneration. You're always losing cells. Uh, skin cells for young people, you know, lose it in 30 days. In older people, it's uh, four to five months with it because everything's slowed down so much. But when everything's running and growing and you're producing more cells than what you're losing, you're actually getting bigger, stronger, healthier, and you're going to live longer. But when you become sort of expendable after uh, 25 and those processes start slowing down, some even shut off, and then your body goes into this long glide, at least we thought it was, to where the average age is about 75 when most people die. Now today I just published on some athletes that died much younger than that, and athletes do die younger than the average pe people because their biology is so damaged by the oxidation from all the exercise, the oxidative stress that damages uh, their whole system. But the most important thing that gets damaged in your body is the most important thing in your body, and that's your stem cells. They create everything. You have stem cells for any type of structure or tissue you have, be it for fingernails or for eyelashes or for the brain or the heart or the kidneys or anything. Uh, they're made from stem cells. They're differentiated to produce different types of organs. That happens as we grow and, and are birth through birth, and they just keep going on top of it. So stem cells, your body would wear out very quickly if it was if once you got to 25 or or to a certain point, then you you didn't regenerate and didn't repair, uh, and within three years there'd be nothing left of you if there's none of that going on. So. Uh, Cellular regeneration is very important. But what happens with the cell because of all the nutrients it takes in to produce something or to divide and make more new cells, which is what uh, stem cells do, uh, over a period of time everything goes into the cell, like the building materials, the proteins or new cells or whatever else they are, uh, produce that. But the waste is excreted from the cell. But unfortunately, a lot of, uh, most of it goes, but a certain amount accumulates and it accumulates every day over the years and things like that. And pretty soon your stem cells, which is really what's making you, uh, are full of what they call lipofusion, which is cellular sludge. It's the garbage that can't get out. Enzymes are breaking it down or trying to. They've broken down a lot that they got out. But these become compounded where the enzymes in the stem cells can't break them down efficiently. And then also with that's a lot of toxins, uh, a lot of free radicals and heavy metals and that, that accumulates in the sludge. So you're getting sludged up. It's like, I tell people, it's like your car engine. If you just added oil when you got low and never changed it, pretty soon your car engine would just be ruined because it would be so full of sludge it couldn't function. So this one thing in this formula, it's a three, well, it's more than a three stage, but there's three main stages. And that which the Chinese said uh, years before that, uh, the, the human body has the ability to live to a great length of life if you remove the toxins and the waste and, uh, and stimulate the regeneration below the degeneration is what they're saying. That's exactly what we've got in this product. I found all of the things. Science is there. Much of this is ancient science, proven uh, new. So the ancient wisdom has become the new science. And that's what the age pill is. There's nothing like it in the world from any company anywhere. Uh, there's a couple that have uh, one of these ingredients they're talking about, and one of them that is becoming famous that NASA is calling the immortality pill. And it's, because, it's just based on one ingredient. And this one ingredient uh, that came out of Harvard was presented to NASA because uh, they can't put a man on the moon, and, or uh, excuse me, on Mars. 
The reason why is the uh, solar radiation is so intense in space, it goes through the metal on the spaceship and space chutes and everything, and you're just like you're getting hit by millions of pinholes. So they said if we send an astronaut up for five months or six months, they come back five years later and 100% of them will get cancer. But a, a moon mission is a short one compared to a mission to Mars. That's about a five-year mission for time staying there and all that. And they said if we sent somebody to Mars, nobody would come back. They would be dead because just too much solar radiation. But now this one key ingredient which goes right, right back into the beyond the Ming Dynasty and before them, these things that uh, uh, Lai Ching and Lai Shai Zan both used with it is the one they've been able to concentrate, is one of them. They've been able to concentrate, isolate, put high levels of it in, and when it goes into the stem cell, the stem cell is using it anyway, and what it does is puts a terrific increase in energy production within the cell and regeneration starts picking up so fast that with the right amounts of it, NASA says the solar radiation that's damaging the astronauts can be repaired just about as fast as it happens. And so now we can send a person to Mars and they'll come back. They won't be any older and they won't be any health, or they're unhealthier and they won't have uh, chances of having cancer where everybody comes back after five months would have cancer in their lifetime. That all can be achieved because of regeneration. So that's the second phase we do. We remove the sludge, and then we go into this regenerative cycle. But the regenerative cycle is quite complex. There's a number of steps in it. And while I've seen a couple of companies using this one ingredient, uh, <clears throat> and they're just starting to make it, they're not putting uh, near enough in because it's quite expensive to get. But uh, they, they're basing it on science. So the, their levels are, are just blips on the radar where uh, it's, a, it's a chart and it goes up and so as I looked at that I figured well I and there's some big patents involved and things so I went direct and I got a company that I dealt with for many many years to manufacture and extract this because it wasn't such a difficult thing to do but I had to have it done to where I could have it with an economy of scale so I could put maxi, massive doses in close to the maximum dosage not the minimum dose that some effects were seeing because what do you want? If you want to grow younger, you want to do it as quick as possible, don't you? And that's what I want too. So I built it on this one. But it goes through a whole number of stages after that. And, and to complete the cycle to where uh, out of the stem cell uh, comes, uh, and, and out of the nucleus comes uh, an energy that's uh, created within the uh, mitochondria, which is the energy engines of the cells, and there's hundreds of them in cytoplasm in your cells outside the nucleus, and that energy is called ATP. A lot of people know about that, and a lot, some people say, take coenzyme Q10 because it's the only thing that will increase ATP. Well, it's the only thing they knew of, but that's what a lot of coenzyme Q10, if you ever wondered about what they have, it, it does increase it, but nowhere near like this, these other products do. So when you put it together with, uh, with uh, coenzyme Q10, you might have a 20% increase in ATP, but with, uh, with this product and this system, just this one ingredient alone puts it up to 200 to 400% more. And then from the science that I've done, and, I've, and it's, it's quite complex, but this is all happening within, it's, everything's coming and gelling within the last five years or 10 at the very most. And so now I've been able to put the other steps into the formulation that greatly accelerates it so that it can produce through its own natural me mechanisms with its own natural, uh, high potent natural medicines, it can elicit tremendous amounts of ATP energy to be created and then instead of just being gone and dissipated and lost, it uh, gets recycled again and again. So what we put in goes so much further because we don't let it just be exhausted and discarded we recycle it at another point with another molecule that has components that it just keeps exchanging with the exhausted ones. So now what does ATP do? Well, ATP, this is the process. ATP produces biological hydrogen. Hydrogen, the very thing we're talking about with our hydrogen water systems. That biological hydrogen is the most powerful atom in the universe or molecule. And it's what comes from the sun. It's wild grass grows. And, 
animals eat grass and we eat plants and we eat animals and that get, that hydrogen gets passed along to us. There'd be no life on Earth if it wasn't for hydrogen. But it gets changed from hydrogen, from solar radiation, uh, into chemical uh, energy. And then in the stem cells, they transport it around creating different forms of energy. And then it gets up to ATP, which turn, converts it back to hydrogen from the very beginning. So it makes a big cycle back to hydrogen. And then hydrogen, what it does is uh, it has enormous power to create, convert again into electrical energy, and that's what really powers you. If you've seen children that have uh, high levels of energy, and you see that with almost all of them, they run around, they don't tire, they, they recover fast, or they'll, they'll run someplace and jump rather than skip, rather than just walk because they have so much electrical energy. It's because they have the same things in their body you do. They're just not worn out, and they're producing at maximum levels. So what we're attempting to do with the age pill is take it back to that so that the, the uh, stem cells, which is really the most important thing in your body, can now start to repair and regenerate itself and to increase cell uh, production that exceeds uh, the degeneration or the loss of cells. There's a third factor that's involved there, and that's uh, the mitochondria takes in, it's like a car engine, takes in car engine takes in gasoline, oxygen explodes, it creates energy. It's because of oxidation. Oxygen has enormous explosive power. When you have a fuel source like uh, carbohydrate is, or, or a sugar, or in the case of gasoline, you have a, a, a carbon-based oil uh, extract, uh, it creates the energy to make the oxygen really go. So just like with a car, you have an exhaust pipe where carbon monoxide uh, is created. It's, it's, it's oxidized, and so very dangerous. Uh, can kill you, cause all kinds of problems with that. You have the same thing happening in the cell. So the cells are designed to neutralize that. But as we get older, we they, that damage uh, starts to occur to even that ability. So you start aging uh, faster and faster. So that when you're in your 70s, your 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 uh, you hit 70 and you're averaging about three days of aging for every day that you live. And it's because of that degeneration that's occurred where we've lost 8 10% uh, every day, uh, every year, and it just accumulates up. And so pretty soon you can't function well. No wonder why. You've uh, been broken down, decayed, and cells are full of sludge. And then the oxidation in the cells, uh, as it oxidizes glucose, that's the gasoline-like substance in the mitochondria, as it oxidizes that, it, cr it creates an oxide with it, like carbon monoxide, only it's a, a glucose ox uh, oxide, and that coats the proteins and, uh, in, uh, in the cell and keeps them, it's like putting uh, saran wrap over your mouth and your nose and trying to breathe. And so it just coats, and uh, they call it sugaring, uh, it, all, a lot of the proteins in the structure so they can't follow the way they are. So if you look at an old cell, now it starts withering up. It loses side, looks, loses volume. It's not clear any longer. It's a yellowish brown because of all the sludge and things are not functioning. And it's putting out very few stem cells. Then some stem cells go dormant. And then some stem cells die off. And the mitochondria is just, it's been with you since birth in your stem cells. And those little engines just firing all the time to give you all the energy are burning out too. So. We've removed the toxins, we've removed the waste, and now we're creating electrical energy on a very high level. So what else can we do? It's like having a, a, a car and the engine is just will hardly run. It doesn't matter how nice you have everything else. If it won't run, that engine needs an overhaul, and it has the ability to do it. So some of these super nutrients in this complex formula go in and they feed this nutrition of where mitochondria are repairing themselves, but they're just too weak become too weak and feeble to do it. And when you get a super charge of these super nutrients, then the mitochondria repair themselves. And it's like an engine overhaul. And the stem cells have the ability to do that. And then the other places where damage is, has occurred, even mutagenic damage on the DNA can be repaired. And it is repaired. Normally, you get a lot, if you smoke cigarettes, you, for every 15 mutants that you get on DNA, the body corrects all but one of them. So the body has the ability to do it, or stem cells do. And so this can uh, correct mutagens in the cells. It can 
take care of all the uh, sludge, the oxidation, and then as the, uh, as the mitochondria, which have their own DNA, different than the nucleus, then as they, as they become whole, they start producing a lot more energy, and we're putting a lot more AT to them, and then if you don't think it couldn't get any better than that, then there's compounds in because the mitochondria can also reproduce and they've just pretty well lost most of that ability and now they go into wild reproduction rates and those energy engines in the cell just start multiplying and adding and getting huge numbers and fresh new ones ready to go with all the old ones repaired and regenerated and then the stem cells because it takes so many to produce so much a lot of them have become uh, slow. Now they're all repaired and they're operating at full blast. But the ones that have become uh, uh, neutered or, or uh, they call it uh, as it goes into dormancy, uh, they sit there for a while and then they die and then there's some that side. But this product isn't over yet. It goes to the senescent, the dormant cells, and it brings them back to full life. And that, uh, that old stem cell, which is is wrinkled and discolored and not functioning regenerates itself this is all in the animal studies that have been done and they're doing them on humans right now but every mammal in the process is, they say is exactly the same in all mammals all animals even reptiles frankly but anyway with that uh, as that happens now you have lots of new stem cells producing lots of energy and the, all the repair is going on in the body and the dormant cells come back to life Shazam! There they are. They're back and they're repaired. They're regenerating. They've just be, been idle because they could no longer function. And then the, the, the stem cells that have died, which science did not think could ever be regenerated, have now been proven to be able to regenerate new stem cells, more, perhaps more than you even had when you were younger, because this compound will just keep feeding the systems within it with the super nutrients to make more and more and more new cells and so now your body is filling up with the cells that are indistinguishable, they say in the animal studies, from young cells. They, they lose that wrinkled uh, uh, discoloration and it goes back to full and clear and functioning and your electrical energy goes right up. Now I saw how fast it would go up and uh, now we're seeing, I, I put it out, I was kind of disbelieving when I started feeling a strength coming into me. I could just feel a strength coming. And uh, my energy levels were, were coming up, uh, and I could feel they were coming up. But then I start seeing that all on Facebook and the postings, and how many people on a shorter period of time, even than I, uh, were having big increases in energy and feeling great and sleeping better and all of those things. But this isn't like a, a supplement that you can sleep better and rest better and all that. This is massive regeneration on a scale like you were in your 20s again. And what they say on all the animals they study, and they're saying that's, that's being true in the studies that they're doing on mankind, and now men and women, is that the regeneration rates uh, of your body, and they test those by what they call biologic biomarkers, biological mar markers or indicators, they return within just months to where you were when you were 20 years old again, in your 20s. Can you imagine that? I don't know where you're at. Are you 40 and like to be 20? Are you 50 like to be 20? Are you 60 like to be in your 20s? Are you 70 like to be in your 20s? Yeah, I don't know if you go all the way back to 20s, but man, you're going the wrong way and going the wrong way fast. We can bring it to a dead stop and put you into warp drive, headed back for youth at a speed you thought uh, we well, you never thought it was possible anyway. This is as close to the fountain of use of anything that has ever been discovered. This is the single greatest discovery, I believe, in the history of human health. And right now you'll have zero competition. Not an MLM company has it. <clears throat> the only couple of companies are selling some, and they're selling only based on one ingredient, the one, and, uh, and it's in such a minuscule amount. Yeah, it works. But what's the difference between... Uh, driving a car five miles an hour and going 500 miles an hour. That's kind of what we're looking for, with it. not 500, but let's say 100, 150 miles an hour. So what we're going to do is we're going to put your body where the regeneration rate of sales is increasing below the ones that are, that are being lost as they're lost naturally. With it, you start having things happen to you. 
what, what, let me just tell you what's happened in the animal studies. The vision that's gone back, gone bad or got very bad and blurry comes back. The sense of smell comes back. The hearing comes back. The brain size comes back. The functionality and memory and everything comes back. The hair that's gotten thin and gray and everything comes back. The leather on their, uh, on their skin and things like that comes back. The bone density comes back. The body uh, mass structure, muscles, organs, everything come back. And so when they did this, like on a mouse study, they, mice lived two years, and they started giving mice that were ready to die two years this one supplement, and they didn't die. And when they were about four years old, they tested them against a group of young mice that were like four and five months old, and they found that they couldn't mix them up because they were indistinguishable from young mice. But when they put the, the real old mice that were like over three years old, should have been dead over a year ago, when they put them on the treadmill, and the only difference between the, other, the young mice had the same feed, water, atmosphere, everything, but the, the older mice had been getting just this one comp uh, ingredient, and so when they put them on the treadmill, they went two to four times farther and also at a, exercised at a higher, faster rate for two to four times longer than the young mice. Now, what does that tell you we got? We have caught lightning in a bottle big time, and you have it. This is the kind of product that will turn you back to where you want to be, and about everybody you know, it has that potential. It's based on theory, because you've got to do studies, but FDA requires 15 years of studies. You want to wait? or you want it now, because there's studies on the individual ingredients, so we're going to publish all of those for you to look at, and if you can connect the dotted lines, you'll see the age pill, a uh, formulation like no other. I think it's far superior to even what Lai Shai Zen and uh, Lai Ling uh, developed themselves, and with that, we'll have a lifestyle, health, all of that. But it takes money to live that long, doesn't it? If you're living longer, Where's the money going to come from? Well, it's from everyone around you. This is the potential to, it, the pricing is so reasonable, it's so easy to sell, the science is so great, the studies are there to talk about, the results are self-evident. Many people in two weeks fill the results. About everyone within two to three months is absolutely undeniable. It depends on how much deterioration they've had to overcome, but it comes, it seems, at least in the animal studies, to everyone. And we think the same thing with human studies. So here we got it. It's time to run. There's no one out there with a product that can compete with you in all of MLM, a little bit on the Internet, but they're insignificant and they're not effective. This is enormously powerful. This is roller skates versus a Ferrari. That's the kind of thing this is in health, and we and we alone have it. So it's time to get your rear into really high gear because you're going to grow a lot younger if you take this product. And I recommend that you you double up for three months. They showed that in animal studies, and they, they just shot up fast in regeneration and younger, everything re regenerating, repairing, uh, and all of those things. And so it took about a three month till that body was really ready to go. But you're getting better all the time anyway. You were getting younger, but then it's just pushing it up there at a very rapid pace, and then wham, you're there, and you're going back in time, your body is, while time goes on and you're growing younger, feeling better, having the energy of when you're in your 20s again, and you'll see biological fun, you'll see muscle mass, you'll see brain volume and size and functionality, and all of these things coming back to your body because your body has the ability to do it. It just needs the toxins and the waste removed and the, the array of super spectacular uh, super nutrients in, in natural, uh, from extracted natural medicines in high abundance and in the right forms and we got it, folks. That's our product. So talk about the perfect storm for success, the perfect storm to become what you used to be, what you'd love to be, and you never thought possible is now sitting right there on your bathroom counter, and it's called the age pill. Throw some TSX behind that. Whoa! Now those telomeres won't wind down, and lifespan and energy can increase more than that. Throw in some of the triangle of life to feed the different biological systems. Woo! It goes even faster. But the key to this, the most important single ingredient formulation on planet Earth that ever has been is here, and it's the age pill, and we alone have it. 
So are you cranked out of your gourd? Is your wood on fire? If it isn't, your, your wood is wet if you're not on fire because this is the big one that you've been waiting for, dreaming about, and it was a dream, it was a fantasy, it was a, it was a hope, it was a fairy tale of uh, eternal life, of, uh, of the fountain of youth, but now that is reality, it is here. We won't live forever, but I don't mind cranking on a number, another hundred years if I live like I was at that 20 again, do you? And that possibility, I'm not saying it will, but that possibility is a very real possibility, I believe. So anyway, that's uh, my short talk for tonight on this thing, but I'm cranked out of my gourd, and Aaron is right, and never seen anything like this. And to be able to put it together, it's the most complex formula I've ever done, but it is, it is breathtaking, it is astounding. And now we're seeing it happen with people, and sales are just starting to soar with it. And people, one woman sold 52 bottles, and one picked up, I think, 15 distributors in two days. So if you'll get to work, you can build yourself the kind of future you always dreamed of, and you can return to those days of yesteryear where you can be functioning like you're 20 again and life is really worth living and you got the money coming in to make it so you can live it the way that you want to. Anyway, that's my message. Back to you, Aaron. Thanks for being on, everybody.